so my name is Allie, and I, today I'll be demoing how to use the HookPad by HookTheory.com software. So the software you can find online, you just ha uh, free online, you just have to make an account for free, like I did up here, made my account. Um, yeah, so this software uh, is a composition software, much like MuseScore, Finale, or Sibelius, except it's free. Um, mostly free. You can pay for the membership if you like. It's four dollars month to month, or a flat one thirty fee. You never have to pay again after that. Don't have to download anything. It's just online this website. So let me show you how to use it. So um, I already notated and added in some basic stuff here, some a melody and chords. So over to the left, we have our scale, uh, C major scale, C D E F G A B C. Um, and then next to uh, each uh, pitch is a corresponding number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. So each note corresponds to that number. So C is Do, scale degree one. So therefore the key is one. D is Re, which is scale degree two. So the key is two and so on and so forth. And this is how you're going to enter the notes into this space. Let me click that. So each row has different colors which match up to each of these note. Each note has uh, a color. So do, red, ray, orange, and so on. It looks like a rainbow. So it's easily identified down here. Up here, you can change the meter. I have, it's on 4-4 right now. You could change the key, whatever you want. I'm in C, but you could pick the, the key and the mode, which is nice. You could change the tempo if you'd like. Um, so that's that. So let's, let's start. So here we have, uh, just C, right? So I'll just erase it and we can start typing. So where, where you're going to start typing is there's a, a blinking cursor, much like a word document. So we're going to click to the beginning and we're going to hit, we're going to hit one. There we go. Boom. We got a C. And to fix this duration, if you want it longer or shorter, you can actually just drag it around or you can come up here and hit this whole duration. So each little cell corresponds to a quarter note. So one, two, three, four beats for measure. You know, you you do half of a cell. It's an eighth note. So you got one and two in. You could do a sixteenth, one in and a two in if you want. So it has all the same features. You can even add and create your own, like if you want a dotted quarter, dot quarter or something, or you can just honestly change and it'll make a dotted quarter or whatever you want for you. Um, yeah, and you just keep you just keep adding in as I did, hitting the different numbers. Like to get a C all the way up here, an octave jump, you just hit one again down here to cr to write the C. Then you can come up here and you can raise or lower the octave. So we have the middle C, we raise it, and we got C five. You can raise or lower the pitches also by using the up and down arrow keys. But to do chromatic notes, you just go up here, raise half, lower half that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so you just go ahead and notate whatever you want. This is somewhere over the rainbow. Um, so once you have your melody laid down, uh, you can start adding chords. So down here, it's going to say click to add chords in this gray area. So I already added these chords, but say we get rid of that, right? So you again, you have the blinking cursor. And then up here, they actually have all the diatonic chords of the scale written out for you. So we got major one, minor two, minor three, major four, major five, minor six, and then diminished seventh. So those are all the key, the chords that occur diatonically in the C major. If you were in a different mode or key, they would show those just like that. And what's nice about the color coding here is that um, obviously scale to, uh, a, a one chord is built on scale degree one, so then the color is red, which matches scale degree one C. And all of these chords are like that, just to kind of help you visualize what kind of chords you're using. Actually, if you go over here too, they have um, progressions. Oh, of course, it won't let me see it right now. But they actually, it, it shows you um, a whole progression of chords, popular chords you could use. They have tone sets, like chords based off of different notes. If you want something real spicy, they got all these, like a 5-5 five, five chord, you got a 2-6-5, that kind of thing. You can search for a chord. You can just type in here. It's not showing it right now, but you can just type it in here if you want a certain chord that you don't see. 
They have popular chords based off of this key. So like in, in C major, you have one, four, five, and six. Those are popular chords, so they kind of show up here. Or they have the magic function, and ugh, it's terrible. You can't see it right now because of the preview with... That's the only downside about not having a paid account. But in the magic section, it'll actually suggest to you chords based off of this composition. And if you click this guide button, it'll do the same thing. It'll show you... This is blank because I have no chord. Let's put the one chord back in. There we go. It'll show you suggested notes based off of what you already plugged in. And it'll suggest things that might sound good for your composition. Okay, so now that we have all of this stuff, I'll play it for you and see what it sounds like. Um, but then it, before I do that, you can go down here and you can change... So this is... It's piano. You can change it to piano strings different types of things, uh, vocal, synth, bass, guitar, all this kind of stuff. Um, you can just mess around. You can access this with the free account, by the way. You can also change, you can add drums if you want. Let's add some, yeah, add some drum. Or, you know, take that away. You can mix this and lower and higher things as necessary. You can change the accompaniment pattern if you'd like, but I'll show you this real quick. I forgot to mention of this five seven and these four seven uh six seven chords all that you can change in here you can make any chord a, a seventh a ninth you can change the inversion you can add nine add add eleven sharp five all that stuff you can create a secondary dominant chord you can borrow make a borrowed chord from any of these modes so i i love the music theory aspect it's so it just makes it that much more necessary to use and better to use um, if you're you know teaching theory that way so I'll this is this isn't really complicated what I just made for, uh, I made this in like four minutes five minutes so over here I made something a little bit more polished the ash grove I arranged this for hook pad um, I'll play a little bit of it and maybe in the middle to just show you a little bit something more polished <laughs> So you get the idea. And like I said, down here you can add in so many things. So like add in the drums, it's gonna sound like this. Alright, yeah, so it's super simple to use. This the software really isn't that difficult once you start once you start doing it, it's not it's not that hard to get into. I love the colors, I, I love how visual it everything is. It, this would be really good for honestly any age but probably like third grade even through high school like I can see myself using this to notate popular music and then the chords you can also like drag all of these things and transpose things so easily and I love that feature because you know no one wants to transpose anything you can just throw it in this and you know transpose whatever you want especially having these chords with the labels it helps you transpose versus like okay how do I transpose a D chord to whatever I need to to fit the key? It shows you the Roman numerals, which is just really nice. Um, the free version, like I said, it's not that bad. Obviously, I was able to create something of this caliber with the free version. I would definitely check into buying the paid version, though. I think I'm going to... Because I can see myself using this for so many things. Um, this would be great for composition projects, or even just if you have a student that wants to write something, but they don't know... They don't know where to begin on how to write a song. They can just throw in a melody. You can add lyrics. Like, I'll show you. You just start typing. And it'll add in per block. Or you can, like, you can do the, um, the dashes to separate syllables and things. So it's really easy for songwriting. And even if they've not, the student isn't sure what chords to use, that's where this progression thing comes into play. Oh, here it is. So it'll show you these popular chord progressions that might help and again this magic thing it, it shows you what chords are suggested for what you wrote so I, I really can see this being very useful um, to have in the classroom and I encourage everyone to at least go mess around with it for an hour <laughs>